Hey guys, it's Lexi. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another homemade dog food recipe. I'm gonna be sharing a super simple and easy homemade dog food that you can whip up for your pet. It uses one skillet. Well, you do have to cook the quinoa separately, but other than that, everything is cooked in one skillet, you guys. So you don't need an instant pot, a crock pot. It is seriously so easy to whip up. My dogs love it. And did I say it only uses three ingredients? So let's go ahead and get started. So my favorite thing about this recipe is it only utilizes three ingredients. So you need a cup of quinoa, you also need one bag of these frozen peas and carrots that you can get out the freezer aisle at almost any grocery store, and you need two pounds of protein. So that could be ground chicken, ground turkey, ground beef. I use a ground turkey for mine because my dogs really like ground turkey, but feel free to sub that out. Now you do want to wash your quinoa first, and then you just want to follow the directions on the back of the bag of how to cook it. Now, one thing I wanted to share, this recipe cooks up about five to six servings for a 50 pound dog. So what I would usually do is triple this recipe, but I got a lot of feedback from you guys from my homemade dog food videos that you wanted a smaller scale recipe. So I wanted to share a smaller recipe that you guys can double, triple, whatever you need to do for your dogs. If you had a small dog, this would be about a week's supply, but since I have two dogs, I would triple it to get a week's supply. Now, usually for this recipe, I would use a frozen bag of quinoa. My grocery store was selling that, and then they stopped selling it, so I've just been making my own. But if you can find the quinoa frozen where you just steam it in the microwave, that will save you from having to pull out an extra pot. You can literally just cook everything in one skillet. I love to use this little masher tool to really break up the pieces of the ground turkey, and I just cook it till there's no more pink. But while that turkey's cooking up, I'm gonna go ahead and steam the frozen veggies in the microwave. This just makes it so much easier. You don't have to chop up any vegetables. You don't have to cook them. You literally just pop it in the microwave, let the microwave cook it for you. And when it's done, we're going to be adding it to the ground turkey. So now that the ground turkey is pretty much cooked, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and we're going to go ahead and drain it. So by this point, the quinoa was all cooked up and nice and fluffy. This is such an amazing healthy carb to add to homemade dog food. You can also set this out for some brown rice or some slices of sweet potato. You can really get creative and make it the perfect recipe for your pup. So I'm just gonna be adding all of the ingredients to the skillet. So we're adding that cooked ground turkey. We're gonna be adding the frozen peas and carrots that we steamed in the microwave and then the quinoa. Now, if you have some pumpkin puree on hand, you can add Add a half a cup of some pumpkin puree that would give this recipe some really good fiber you can even add some slices of apples as well but I wanted to create this recipe for someone who just wanted a minimal ingredients where it was super easy for you to whip up so here's how the recipe looks you can see the ground turkey quinoa peas and carrots you know exactly what your pup is getting I do add additional supplements if you guys are curious to know what I add to my homemade dog food. In addition to this, I will link all of my supplements down below for you guys. This recipe cooks up quite a bit. So if you have a small pup, this would be a, probably a week supply for your dog. But if you have two dogs like I do, just feel free to increase it. I usually triple it for a week supply. Now that the food is nice and cool, I'm going to go ahead and feed the dogs. Blissey girl and Bentley was so excited for this recipe. Hey girl, Blissey, down. Stay. Eat. Good girl.
guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this super easy homemade dog food recipe. I'll have it typed down below for you guys in the description box as well as all the supplements I add to my homemade dog food. I will also link down below my homemade dog food playlist if you guys need some more meal ideas for your pups. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with a family or friend, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.